Howdy all y'all, it's time for cake. Now I have to apologize, I know that I have not uploaded anything new for Banished in a couple of days. Well, I've been busier in a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest is why. And, uh, well, I know I've I updated a little bit of Agrarian Skies, so you may be wondering how busy were you? How busy, cake? Didn't have time for Banished? Well, the truth is I had a ton of time for Banished, but I didn't figure y'all wanted to watch something like four hours or more of me wandering around in straight lines with my hand held down on the mining beam button. Yeah, that's exactly what I was doing. You know what it was. Those big caves. Look at that. Look at this. I got two of them that are now one of them. Y'all can see this triangle patch on the floor. That continued in a big old curve way over there, following this thing's big old curve. And you can see over there. I just mined out all that floor to ceiling. I might make it higher yet. We'll see what happens. We will see. But give you another look at that. This part of the map right here, all this area, it's now one big room. I'm thinking of bringing in this area too here. Maybe, you know, I'll gradually widen it. We'll see what'll happen. But this curve right here, this was one room. And this curve was one room. So you can see that I took out an area almost equal to maybe half the size of this room right here. But now it is one huge happy cavern. And I'm not sure I might put a big tower in the middle. Maybe I'll put some little towers on the edges so I can keep things kind of organized by area or if I get invaded by zombies I can kind of bolt to a different tower we'll see what happens right now this area is kind of dangerous it ain't a hundred percent lit and uh, if I get a day eight in here the quantity of spawns that will all have line of sight to me is just nasty so we're gonna avoid that if we can uh, what we're going to be doing, though, y'all may remember last time I made this alchemical thing here, which uh, instead of tossing stuff into a cauldron and worrying about overload and purple goo everywhere, this puppy down here breaks it all down and puts it into jars. Well, we're going to be doing something that takes what's in those jars and uses exactly what it needs, not one drop more, so we don't get any of that overflow. So here we go. Let's go back to our little base such as it is. And I've been getting kind of, I got to tell you, I've been getting more and more frustrated with stuff breaking in. Uh, coming in through the ceiling, coming in through the floor. I got to be sure the entire floor of that cavern is obsidian. It's about three quarter right now. Now, Canajan suggested to me that what I needed to do here was right click with an open hand. Now, the quest book says... Let me see here. Matter conversion. There we are. Um, place chalk you know, overlays three by three area. After it's overlaid, shift right click to create the tablet and place the book inside. Now, to me, that was saying shift right click and is placing the book inside. So I kept putting the book in my hand, trying to right click, and all that happened is the book opened. So I was very puzzled. And I tried right-clicking it with other things in my hand, but Canterjan suggested do it with an empty hand. Now, I've got an empty hand, and i got to say, I don't see much improvement. So I'm going to take out that chalk circle, I figure. I think I got... where did I put all the chalk? Maybe I'm not going to take out that chalk circle. Something beating up one of my cows happens pretty regularly. All right, you know what? I ain't going to take out that chalk circle right now. We'll wait another time. We'll just go ahead as planned. Now, the thing we want to make today... Last time we made this thing. An arcane workbench and a bunch of biz filters and a bunch of arcane alembics. And we use that to make a uh, uh, essential distiller. Now this time what we're going to be doing is going over here to Automated Alchemy. And we are going to be making a Thaumatorium. Now the problem here it uses a crucible. It uses two of these constructs. We ain't made those yet, but we know how. 
The problem here is it takes 30 aqua, 30 ordo. Well, our wands, our wands only go up to 25, and even though I got two of them, you can't just do it with two wands. You gotta have one wand. So we are gonna need to make a more powerful wand. Now, the good news is we got this here, Great Wood Rod, as a quest reward. And I'm going to have to do, I have to research it to use it, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Now, I know i got to re research the gold wand caps. Let's do that. Okay, fair enough. This works just like the iron caps from earlier, but we're going to need to add some viz. And to other things, great wood wand core. Now, you may see that flashing purple thing. That means I don't have it. So, the way we do that now is we come over here and go look for that. And you can see when I mouse over things, it always comes up with two symbols. Everything is made to something else, except for these things. These are primaries, like earth, air, fire, water, order, and chaos. They're not made up of other stuff. So, Precantatio, the purple thing I'm missing, is made from vacuum, vacuos, and potentia, potential energy. Now, I got a lot of potentia. That's what my mom always said. But I got only one vacuos. So we can't make much of that, but vacuos is made from air and chaos, which is perditio. So I'm going to take the perditio, click it, and you see it appears down here. Go back over to where the air is. I don't have as much of that as I'd like. Click that, it appears down here. This button lights up. When I click that button, it's going to make this by combining these. So I'm going to make a dozen of that. I'm going to click these to get them out of there. So I come over here, it needs vacuos, so I click that. And it needs potentia, so I click that. And same deal, when I start clicking this, it, it goes up. Okay, so now we should have enough to buy our guan core. Yes, we do. All right, and now we can make this puppy. We're just going to tuck one wand in here. And uh, let's see, I gotta make the end caps. Boom. And we take our core, put her in the middle, and end cap on either end, and voila, we got it. Now, the problem here is this puppy's empty. That means we gotta go fill it, or it ain't no use at all. So, I hear a spider, I don't see a spider. So off we go, and uh, most of my nodes are in that big old wide open area that we saw earlier. So, uh, oh, hello there, you. I'd like you to leave. Thank you. I'm also going to light that area up, because unlit areas are where things spawn. Alright. Now on day 8, of course, they spawn any damn where. And I'm really hoping we don't have to see that happen in that big area till I've got some towers built that I can kind of hole up and defend. Okay, we got some kind of a thing over there. And that's a... Why am I trying to light him? Uh, hang on a second, fellas. I got a phone call. And we're back. And he's dead. Okay, I heard a spider. No, I heard a creeper. I wish I heard a spider. I mentioned this mod pack makes creepers scary again. It really does. They are nasty, because not only are they going to kill you, but every single kind of creeper under the sun now puts out, puts fires everywhere. And those fires will, uh, whoop, we got a unlit spot here. I've been trying to light up this whole huge room, which is nearly impossible. Anyhow, um, so yeah, you got, uh, so you got, um, fire everywhere, and when it's killed you, that fire goes and destroys all your stuff. Okay, now I'm really starting to wonder about that whole day eight thing. Because I've got, I see quite a few spawns just in this short little while. And that is a spawner zombie, and I really don't want to talk to him. Okay, he's dead. Got a ghost spider over there. Alright, he's dead. Sorry, I just want to kind of try to clear this area a tiny bit before I go to town. 
Okie doke, so we wanted to head over. Alright, now we got multiple zombies spawning. And I'm really starting to wonder about that day eight thing. If that happens when I'm down here, I will I will not apologize for running away because man it with this wide open area it will get nasty. It will get really nasty. And I need to make myself a uh, enchantment table. Y'all can see I'm like at level 47 here. I'm at like level 47 here. I don't want to get killed over something stupid. Alright, so we take our wand, suck down as much of this as we can. I hear a creeper. Oh my god, I hear two creepers. What the damn? Okay. Uh, yeah, this is bad. Okay. Man. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Of course, all that fire knocked out one of my lights. Let's try that again. See if we can't get our wand a little bit fuller. There's a lot of fire in this. Okay, we topped off the fire at least. Man. Do not want, do not want to get killed. I gotta make me, I gotta make me some kind of a enchantment. Oh my god, look at all that. Uh, I think it's day eight, fellas. Oh, holy shit, I count four different creepers over there. Now it's three. I'm gonna widen out my radar a little bit. I sure don't want to get snuck up on. Not by those. And we got some kind of a super chooper over there. And here come more zombies. Never did like zombies with bows. And there's a zombie with a, is that a fishing rod or a sword? It's a zombie with a dead. Okay, that's my favorite kind. Shoot. All right, the good news is that with them dropping like that, if the if they drop instead of spawn, then uh, at least I ain't uh, dealing with them at full health. Okay, let's use you up. Get as much charge as we can. Oh, some kind of magic helmet. And a mana cakes. I like mana cakes. I've actually not used any. I don't tend to run out. I tend to, I mean, well, I guess part of it is I've gotten up to level 37 from killing things using this, uh, using my little rock chucker spell. And I haven't really done anything else in Thomcraft, or not Thomcraft, um, Ars Magica. Oh, that is one of those Gatling fellas. Hello, how are you? And that's the fairies doing their thing. Sometimes they they run off, and I don't know if it's a fairy thing or what. I'm I'm not real, not real clear on that. That is not a normal spider. We're spending an awful lot of time killing things. And not as much time getting things done as I would like. I apologize for that, fellas. Uh, it probably doesn't help that I'm trying to loot stuff instead of just kill them and run. Um, okay, so what was my goal? I came here to fill out this dang wand. And we are not even a little bit close. Dang it. Okay. Well, I know I got a couple more nodes over here that I ain't used yet that are the right kind of stuff. I don't know. Once I get 
like some defensive perimeters set up in here this will be cool but for the time being uh, I mean it's a wide open zone and a whole lot of stuff that has kind of a line of sight uh, attempt to kill on line of sight okay I need air and ordo man hello and that's a thief skeleton you do not want that to touch you I talked about them on the forums um, they will steal whatever you got on your button bar and they will steal your armor and then you get killed by something else and then you try to come back and they've despawned and taken all your crap with them okay let's uh, real quick look at this thing 30 aqua 30 ordo Oh, shoot you. See, they're spawning kind of practically. They're not quite next to me, but they're awful close. I don't know if we're on day eight, but it wouldn't surprise me. Actually, no, I don't think we're on day eight, because I got caught down here and once and barely got away with my life. Stuff was spawning all over. Okay, so 30 aqua, 30 ordo. We can't do it. we got to get more stuff in the wand. We do not have what it takes just yet. Not helping. Also not helping. Now I am 16 dozen kinds of jittery. I'm also level 48. Son of a... Creepers, man. Creepers. Yeah, things are kind of lively here. That's a Terra Node. It won't help none. But I'm pretty sure this one's got Ordo. Yes. And that'll give me more than enough Ordo to do what I got to do. So we are going to port back to the shop. There we go. All righty. We got our full wand. I didn't charge any of the little ones. So, well, that one's still full charge. That ought to be plenty for us. Oh, this thing is respiration 10? What? Seriously? How does that even happen? Is my door open? My door ain't open. I don't like this, fellas. Things just keep getting nastier. It's not quite Magic Farm 3 levels of nasty, but it's getting there. Okay. I need to get some of this crap out my inventory. I can't deal. Sorry. Okay, let's see. Here are you. Nope. Nope. There, that goes. And you, and you, and you, and you. Okay. Windstorm! Oh. Death from above! Yeah, because we needed more mobs coming. Alright, I don't know. I'm, I'm in my cave. It ain't quite my happy place, but I'm not too worried about normal normal stuff. I'm worried about day eight. All right, so let's see here. <sighs> right, we need to make... We need to make two of these puppies. Now, it's going to be four viz filters, two great wood planks, eight essential tubes, and four essential valves. Valve in upper left, viz filter in upper right. Okie doke. So, two silver wood planks, four gold ingots. There's that, and there's that, and that is not enough. Not enough mana. Oh, I took the stupid wand out like an idiot. Okay, it's enough to do one of them. Put the other one in to do the other one. Don't much like it. 
All right, so now we need eight essential tubes, four valves. Y'all can see I kind of prepped for this. I didn't want to, didn't want to burn a lot of y'all's time. So, oh yeah, and the great wood, great wood log. There we go. Oh, there's our chalk. I'm gonna grab that just in case. Only take a second to check. Okay. Um. Right. Planks. We need two there. Uh, this filter, upper left, lower left, I think. Valves, upper right, lower right, and then tubes everywhere else. Yes. There's one and two. Okay. Now I'm going to take that with me. Now, the other thing I'm going to need here is I'm going to need the cauldron. And I'm going to need to dump out this bucket of water because I'm going to have to do a little bit of tricks with uh, some lava to make this thing happen. Yeah, I had a creeper over there that almost got me the other day. Okie doke. Let's try this here real quick. Whoops. Come up. There we go. Uh, you go there. And we use the chalk thingy. And how's that work? There it goes. And we right click that. Now let's try right clicking that with an empty hand. Nope, I'm doing something wrong, I guess. I don't rightly know what the what the thing is here. Try it with a dang book again. Nope. Don't do nothing. Um I don't know. I don't know, fellas. Maybe I need to click particular block. Did I make the chalk thing the wrong size? I don't know. Do it without standing on it? Nope. Okay, that's enough of that. We are going to go get this other thing done. And to get this other thing done, I am going to need... Actually, I need the tubes. So let's grab our tubes. I'm going to put them right here. And I'm going to put the chalk back here. Okie doke. And we are off. Oh, something blew up here. Get the light up. Keep the light up. Light is life. I'm not liking this much. Alrighty then. Obnoxious. Shoot, no, that's bad news. Okay, he stole stuff from my inventory. Y'all see that? I hear a lot of things, and I see a lot of things. And we got a bunch of zombies coming at me. I think we're on day eight. I know I keep saying I think we're on day eight, but like that that area looked like there was stuff all through it. We'll take one more peek. Yeah, I, I don't even I don't even know. There's something the hell up there. And my lights are out again. Oh, you know, I bet these things spawn from that windstorm thingy. Is that what these are? Maybe. Saw a skeleton on the mini map, but okay. Man, I do not like it. I do not like it one little bit. Feathers are good. I got chickens. I'm not too worried, but feathers are good. That skeleton's following me around. Hello. There's another one in here. I don't even know. Light that up. Can I 
even get up there. Yeah, all it is is feathers. Okay, what do we got going on? I don't see nothing down. Uh, I had to go and say the magic words. I had to say it. Okay. Just those chups. All right. Let's try getting down here without getting killed by a ton of things. All right, sheep are good. Sheep are all right. Hello. Okie doke. Don't know why they gave him a quiver and no arrows, but I ain't going to complain. All right, so I'm going to set this thing up. You're over lava, hot dog. All right, I'm going to set this thing up right here. I need to scoop up the lava and get it up to ground level so that um, it's close enough to the crucible. So there's our crucible. And here's our first construct. And there's our second construct. Get rid of that block. And I'm going to be over here. There's my wand. Ta-da, multi-block. And that is our thaumatorium. And to make this puppy work, I'm sorry, it's, it's loot, it's experience, and I'm greedy. To make this puppy work, we are going to need to get some pipes around it. And uh, what we'll be able to do, I didn't bring anything to make with this thing. You know what? We're going to come back here in just a second. We're at 27 and a half minutes, but if nothing goes wrong, should be able to get pick up some stuff and come right back. Okay. Now what I need, hopefully, is I need I need some trap doors. I thought I made some trap doors earlier, but I probably didn't. Well, there's one. And I need some heads. See this? This has got four each. A Humanus, Spiritus, and Mortuus. And the other thing I'm going to need is I'm going to need some straw. And you're all, what in the hell are you kind of soup are you cooking, mister? Uh, well, what I'm cooking, aside from a little extra inventory space, what I am cooking here, or trying to, is uh, going to be hopefully our first golem. Oh man, I only got five wheat. I need more wheat. Can't do this without nine wheat. Alright, let's see. Man, they've been wrecking my farm. Alright. We're going to move this soon, so I don't feel so bad. I'm just go get my stuff. And let's let a little light on the subject, and let's get back inside. Okay. Sorry, fellas, don't mean to slow things up so dang much, but... Alright, so nine wheat. Nine wheat becomes a hay bale. And the other thing we're going to need is we're going to need a bunch of blocks, or uh, not blocks, we're going to need a bunch of... Um, whole bunch of trapdoors. So I'm going to make a whole bunch of trapdoors. I'm going to make 24 trapdoors. And the trapdoors are worth one modus and two arbor each. So between these things we're going to get us about five jars of fairly tasty stuff. Now do I have coal? Good thing I thought about that before running out there, ain't it? Crack that puppy open. Dump you in there. And oh boy. 
I know, I know. Over the half hour mark. I do apologize. Great wood planks. Okay, also brains. Brains go in there. I'm saving them up because I don't have enough of my own. Okay, are we ready? Here we go, here we go, here we go. What we're going to be trying to do, actually... Oh, you know, do I even have that researched? Shoot. I need to think ahead further. We're going to try to get into Golomancy. And that means we need that, and we need... Yeah, we can do that thing. And I'm pretty sure there's a quest for this puppy. Yeah, Golemancy. It wants a straw golem. All right, we're going to do this thing. And off we go. Okay, looking good, looking good. Don't jinx things. Gonna need five of these bottles. Gonna put them down. One, two, three, four. And the first thing in is gonna be... Let's do the heads. So, cooking heads, cooking heads. It's a Polynesian delicacy. Well, <laughs> actually, uh, not so much. Although there were places. Y'all go uh, uh, New Zealand. The Maori used to be serious headhunters. They're still serious warriors. They're about as serious as it gets. You ever see a haka, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you've never seen a haka, uh, hit YouTube. Type in all blacks like the color, with an S at the end, and then type in the word H-A-K-A, -A, and I guarantee you will be impressed. Okay, so it's on the last dang head, and I'm not going to put in the trapdoors just yet, so you can see it's boiling, burbling out all this stuff, and this time around it's not splitting it up between Alembics the way it was before. I, I still do not understand why it did that thing. And we should be getting, I think, 32 of each. I'm going to wait just a second here. Okay, that one's good. And out goes the valve, and in it goes into... Why did it just do that thing? I do not understand why it is doing this thing. That is exactly the kind of problem we had last time. I have never had so much difficulty with these things as I do in this particular... There we go. Crank you out. Now we should be getting, yeah, there's our Mortuous. All right, that's all 32. Close that valve. Open you up. Son of a, why does it do this thing? Oh, okay, it's doing it right. I'm sorry, excuse me. Pardon my Frank Hayes. Except, of course, the problem was I was hoping to get that all in one jar. Well, ain't gonna happen now. Alright, this one's got all of our spiritus, and ain't nothing else should interfere with it at this point, so... Put you down. And there we go. Now, the stuff we need for this is the Humanus. And I think I know how to solve our problem. I'm gonna put that there. You done? You done. Okay. That one's open. I need it closed. And Spiritus, Humanus, and Mortuus. Alright, I don't need Mortuus. Oh shoot, am I out of jars? Let me double check what I need here. Spiritus, Modus, Humanus. Okay. out of jars. I'm going to try something and see if it's going to work, but maybe not. We'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll take that one out of there. The 
problem I have now is I'm shy a couple jars. I need to make some more jars. Right, fellas, tell you what, we are at 35 minutes. I am going to kill the recording. Go make jars, come back. Well, folks, I done screwed up again. I went through and did everything, came back with my jars and did the thing and uh, closed it all up and said, hey, I'm done. And then I went back to edit it today and I get to looking and I realized I never hit the record button when I came back. So this is our second time through and this is our thaumatorium and we got our modus, we got our humanus, we got our spiritus. And if this is working correctly, we should get a straw golem out of it. I uh, got a bunch of stuff that I did. Uh, I didn't realize the editing problem until I'd already recorded an entire another episode. So, um, yeah, I'll have to show you that next time. But uh, let's just do this thing real quick. So we got Spiritus Humanus, or Modus Humanus. And uh, we give it a hay bale. And away it goes. And there's our goal. Ta-da! Okay, so that's how that works. And uh, since I've been forgetting about this this whole time, um, whoops, yeah, there we go. Let's see here, practical, practical, yeah, there's a goal. And that's going to get us what looks like a harvest core and an invalid item. I'm a little concerned about that invalid item thing, but let's see what it does. Whoop. We got some issues here. What the hell was all that? Okay. Anyhow, invalid item, invalid item. Hardcore questing mode, invalid item, 5886. And a golem animation core chop. So that'll help harvest trees, but that's all that'll do. Anyhow, y'all take care. Sorry about the late upload. Sorry about the delay. Like I've been busy. I've, I've told you all about it. Uh, like it if you like it. You know the drill. Take care, everybody. <laughs>